Episode three, baby. Vlog. Take action. Let's get it. Tomorrow, September 30th, is an extra special occasion. 50th anniversary of our guy, Nate Northington, first African-American football player in the Southeastern Conference. Fifty years ago, on the night of September 30th, 1967, Nate Northington stood in a staging area just like this. 50 years ago, he was the first African-American player to ever step foot on an SEC football field. Without Nate Northington's courage on that night in 1967, players like Bud Dupree, Randall Cobb, and hundreds of former and current Wildcats may never have been given a fair opportunity to wear a Kentucky jersey. You know, I never could have imagined that the, uh, what I did 50 years ago um, would transform football in the SEC. Uh, I wouldn't have done anything differently. Glad that I took the opportunity that was given to me uh, to have the chance to play football uh, in the SEC. You know, I'm just grateful for the young men that are playing ball, playing ball now. I just feel like that it was my duty and responsibility uh, to take that opportunity to uh, do something for those coming behind me. Just finished the catwalk here with uh -oh. all the guys that helped debut the statue. We're celebrating today, yes, 50th uh, year anniversary of Nate Northern for breaking the color barrier. Uh, Nate's a uh, order for person. I just said hi to him at the catwalk, and uh, we're going to try to get this win for him. If you want for him, I want to be here right now. So you got to go back, take it back to history. You no, know, we pay, we pay homage and everything. Respect. What does it mean to you to be coaching at the institution where the color barrier is? Well, it means everything to me. You know, it's, it's been a long, hard fight, and for those young men to sacrifice and and go through all the trials and tribulations they did for us, you know, it, it's, it means everything. We wouldn't be here, you know, I wouldn't have been able to play football at the highest level, I wouldn't have been able to coach at the highest level if it wasn't for their sacrifice and, and them enduring all the, all the situations that they had to endure at that time. My family, we all give thanks to them all because, uh, like I said, it means everything to us. What for Nate and uh, the fans and the fans of the SEC would have, would have never known you know, about the greats that came before us. And uh, Nate, we want to thank you for being resilient, you know, being tough in the face of adversity, and uh, you know, we're extremely proud to call you the Wildcat. It's a story, it's, it's something special, and I'm just blessed to be able to play on this day, uh, experience, get this experience with my team, and I'm gonna show up. Without Nate and those three other guys, we would be able to play, so uh, it means a whole lot to us. I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I mean, he paved the way for us to, to be here and be able to play on Saturdays like we are today, so thank you, Nate, I appreciate it so much. Thank you for opening doors for us. Because of you, we are who we are, and uh, God bless you. We're ready to head down the catwalk. Coach Stoops here with our honoree, Nate Northern. Celebrate the right way and get this dub.
throw over the middle. He's got Hart, and he'll go in. Touchdown, Kentucky. That's the Greg Hart, number 85, sticking it in for his first touchdown of the year. Need a big stop from the team. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go, D! Sexton near side at the four. It's back into the middle across the hip. Oh. Drilled at the 16 yard line. Woo. Hey, he's a hitter. He's a hitter. Gotta set the tone, baby. Day, man, it's it's an honor to be playing for him and playing for you know this university, and we're just, we're just happy to get away with this win. We have not given out one game ball all year till now, right? Yes, sir. But I think we all know who deserves this game ball. We're so proud of Nate and the toughest. Yeah. Game ball, Nate Northern. Newly crowned fourth all-time leading receiver in Kentucky football history. Huh? All work pays off. <laughs> There's only one thing we can do, though. <sighs> Let's go. Mr. Nate Northington, the man of the hour. Hero that desegregated the SEC. What does it mean for us to get a big W here on oh, the 50th anniversary? It, it means the world. You know, I was just, just rooting and uh, just hoping we would come through. And uh, the guys and the coaches, uh, they brought home the bacon. You know, so yes, I'm sure grateful. Did. And I think I thank you for the game ball. You know, uh, special I mean, tradition. This Coach Tuch is not big on him. Right. The only one I've seen in my entire time here. Oh, wow. And you Man, serve it, sir. That's you serve it. Wonderful. So I'm just so grateful. Uh, thank you, Big Blue. Love you. Uh, God bless you. Very special day for all of BBN, the entire fan base, every single football player that's ever stepped foot on this field or any Kentucky football field. Thank you, Nate Northington. Thank you, BBN. Thanks for tuning in to episode three, checking in on one of BBN's favorite players. Minor setback for a major comeback. Tune in next week with a V-Log. Right. You heard him.